Ladies and gentlemen, we are in beautiful Montana fishing a great river, famous Bighorn River. What do you think, Steve? Well, hopefully lots of uh, rainbows and brown trout, and uh, we're fishing a 10-mile stretch here, drifting it, and hope to have a great time. Well, I'm excited. Yeah. Let's go try it. All right. We backed up the drift boat and slid it into the water, and soon we were drifting the fabled Bighorn River. We were enjoying the sights and the sounds. We've been drifting down and we saw this nice little run here that we could fish from shore, so got out and gave it a try. Well, that's a nice fish. Steve hooked into the first fish of the day. Well, he took one of the midges, either a zebra midge or a root beer colored. Mm. It's ready for the net if you want to yeah. net that thing. Steve worked the fish toward the net. We are not skunk on the big horn. We are not. We are not. That is a nice bow right yeah, there, doggone it. That is on that root beer's midge. Wow. Cool fish. Yep. Are you able to zoom in on that fly right there? Kind of might look black here, but it's it's actually kind of a little brown colored midge. Very cool. Root beer. Yeah, beautiful, bright rainbow. Mm -hmm. Man, nice bighorn bow right there. Oh yeah, that was nice. Well, we've been seeing these fish as we drift down with the drift boat scatter in front of the boat. So I know they're in here and saw a few rise. Finally got a nice hit on that little zebra midge. So that was cool. See over against that shore, it's dark. It's a dark green band. And we just started coming around this corner and saw this nice mud bank and a beautiful hole through here and started catching fish. Yeah, keep going, lad. Yep, got him. It's so cool in the water. Okay, all right. Ready? Nice brown trout. Yeah, very nice. <laughs> He goes. That guy had some spunk. Yes, indeed. Jumped out of the water. I don't know if we got it on film, but made a nice jump. Yep. That was awesome. Now it's my turn at the bow. Yeah, that's a, that's a good fish. This is a good one. It's going to jump. Wow. That's This is a lot nicer fish. So I hooked it and I could just feel the weight and it just jumped out of the water a couple times. It's just a great fighting awesome fish. Yeah, it's a weighty fish. Very cool. Whoa. Thanks. <laughs> that was fun. That was fun. Should we head for shore right here, Steve? Okay. Gosh, it's a good. Oh. Wow, what a great fish. Yeah, Steve dialed in this uh, right nymph and right indicator height and caught some real nice fish right here. So hopefully I'll get this guy in, but he's not done, so I'm going to let him run if he needs to. Gosh. Steve, would you mind grabbing the net and going out there and netting it for me? I don't know. Got a little issue here. The boat is not anchored and it's taken off downstream. Uh, we Somehow we misplaced a net that's about five feet long. It's no longer in the boat with us. So, it's interesting. Come on, Steve. Come on, man. Night. Oh. All right. Woo. Okay. Look at that. A bighorn river bow. <laughs> awesome. Steve, Good job. Good thank job. you. That was so fantastic. Um, like I said earlier, Steve had that dialed in, uh, had the right indicator height, perfect nymph. He went through it, caught a really nice bow, gracious enough to give me the rod in the bow of the boat. And that was a beautiful bow too. So getting kind of excited about this. Yep. Nice. 
Is the anchor down? Oh yeah, there's a fish. The anchor's not down. Wow. It, ooh. Man, that's a good fish. Yeah, I was just working my way down this bank. Indicator went down. Be nice if uh, I remember where I just put that big net right there. I've got it. And that's a problem with having leaders that are 14 feet long. It's just very difficult. <laughs> oh, it's not a big fish, but what it lacks for size, it makes up for in beauty. Wait till you see this fish. Mm. Oh, awesome. nice. Wow, it was so cool. I just got out of the drift boat, decided to take one cast, started working my way down. Indicator went down, gorgeous. Gorgeous brown. Man, that was just great. I saw the indicator go down, I set the hook, and you just tell it was a weighty fish. And now I decided to give the rod up to Steve. So there you go. <laughs> Sorry about that. <laughs> Here, I don't want to deal with that. <laughs> go, give it a push. By the time I got to it. Got him. Oh, yeah. oh, look at that. Oh, a good one? Yeah, I mean, jumped really nice. Oh, look at that thing nice. jump. Nice. Oh, that's a good fish. Go ahead and just go to shore Whoa. and anchor, lad. Yeah, this fish hit really hard, and right away it jumped, and I knew it was a rainbow. Beautiful colors on it. Yeah. Shore and anchor. Oh, look at that Another thing. <laughs> Woo, that is awesome. Oh. What a fish. My that goodness. That was awesome. Nice. Wow, he's going to go again, I think, still. Yeah. Go ahead and set the anchor. Okay, we can. Yeah, that's Whoa! Whoa. Oh, there he goes again. Awesome. Awesome. All right. All right, we're good. You can take that off the tripod if you want. Boy, he's still going. Boy, that thing hit it hard. Nice. Yep, nice fish. Beauty. That's what we're after here. Yep, that's a beautiful rainbow. Gorgeous. Got a shot? Got it. Oh, there he goes. <laughs> there it goes. Yep. Like you should have expected it from a fish that jumped that many times, yeah. man. I tell you what, it exploded out of there. That was cool. Still ready to go, do more. Yeah, that was a good fish. Beautiful. Yeah. Yeah, let's right. get another one out yeah, of there. Yeah, let's do it. Let's do it. Well, Steve, I've been seeing a lot of uh, rising up there, but I'm mm -hmm. not sure they're actually hitting the surface. Yeah, just subsurface. Yeah, so what do you think? Should we lower your indicator and uh, see if we can get those guys? Let's do it. All let's right, do it. let's go. The tip of the week is brought to you by Northwest Outfitters, located at the village at Riverstone in Coeur d'Alene, Idaho. One of the new tools that, that we've started to take with us here in the boat is, it's, it's really not a new tool, but it's a throw bag. And it's a rescue device in case you have somebody fall out of the boat, get in the river. Uh, this throw bag has saved an awful lot of lives. One of the first things with the throw bag is to open it. It's just got a small clasp here. Open the bag, get a hold of the looped end of the rope, and you can throw this bag either underhand, like softball style, and you want to throw it upstream of the swimmer so that they're actually able to do a little bit of a backstroke and get a hold of the rope. And one very significant thing to remember with the throw bag uh, is to grab a hold of the rope. If you're the swimmer, you want to get a hold of the rope and not the bag because if you grab the bag, this rope will just continue to deploy, clear out until all 180 feet are out. and so. It'll still save you, but it'll be a long, long ways down the river. So, you know, for the thrower, you can either throw it underhand, like I say, or you can throw it football style if you want. It's a great thing, great tool to have, uh, either in the boat with you, or I even know some folks that frequent the river and they're just wade fishermen and they keep them in their cars. So uh, it's a small investment to save a life, whether it's uh, part of your party or not. Go get a throw bag. Good work. Okay, put your feet down. I got gotcha. you. Oh. Thanks for not letting me go. <laughs> hey, Mike. 
<laughs> I, w I wasn't recording. <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. <laughs> oh, I see them. They're out to. Oh no, there's some underneath it. They're coming up. Going right into them. Got one. Oh, Got one. Yeah. Nice. Oh. <laughs> yeah. That was fun. That was fun. That's such a cool fish. Yeah. Look at how deep that water is too. It's got to be 20 feet deep down. All these fish are coming up close to the surface to take bugs. Okay, you ready to get the net? Come on, Brownie. Nice. Yeah, not a big fish, but that was fun. That was nice. fun. Steve held the fish in the water and allowed it to rest before releasing it. All right, there it goes, down to the depths. It's so cool. You, I know there's probably 30, 40, 50 fish just all rising out there and, and uh, figured out a way to catch them, so that's cool. Very exciting. Yeah. Good job. Yeah, it was awesome. The bighorn consists of tailwater produced by the After Bay Dam. It's cold water and fertility makes for excellent trout habitat. Now, as you can tell, the Bighorn is a very popular river. And this is just a few of the boats that we've seen today. But we're still catching fish. There's so many fish here. It's just, uh, it's awesome. Yeah. Steve worked the drift boat down the river. That's a weed. Oh, it's golly! Oh, jeez, that was a big fish. Big fish. Do I still have my flies? Jeez. The bighorn is very scenic with its old cottonwoods and grass fields. Yeah, there it is. Oh! Golly, that thing's crazy. It's gonna jump right in the boat. Oh, that's a nice oh, fish. Jeez! Wow. Look at that thing. Psycho. Psycho fish. Oh! Wow, what a fighter. Wow. Awesome. What a fish. Okay. Yeah, that's a bow for sure, the way he's moving. Look at that thing. Nice. nice. Definitely. Nice rainbow. Oh. Good, Good job. River. Thank you. That was fun. Just the tail end of that pool. I think just before we were running out of room, that fish hit. Man, it, I hope that came on film. It was just coming right at the boat. It was so cool looking. That was awesome. That looks like good water. Really good water right there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Nice. Thank you. It's a good one? Yeah, it feels pretty All good. Right. Yeah, it's a good one. It's a good one. It's a good call, lad. Thank you. Yeah, maybe maybe back the boat in to and we could back in. Whoa. I'll try to back in. Yeah, you can go right over there, huh? I'd like to see. Oh, oh that's Here's not that up. big, but <laughs> it almost jumped in the boat yeah, for you. <laughs> nice. nice. Brown, nice brown, Steve. Mm hmm. Nice. Yeah. Good job. Thanks. That was fun. Yeah, it was great. Good call too. I, Thank you. You know, saw a little bit of slick water there, and I think that's a little bit better than the fast water for these coronamids we're fishing. Yeah. And uh, sure enough, boom. So this is a, a zebra midge, but it's root beer colored, 
Uh, typically you fish with either black or red. This uh, fly is also catching a few fish today and this is a little uh, betus imitation. Still haven't seen him yet. I just when he came up, he uh, when he first oh, hit, he came up and and uh, I saw him. Yep, Ready? looks good. Yeah, sure. Yeah, if you don't mind going out there and netting him. Still haven't seen him yet. I just when he. Is he gone. Oh, he's gone. So what I've been doing is casting about quarter upstream or whatever, I don't know what that's called, yeah. diagonal upstream, give it one man and then there's a nice little flat spot that just kind of sits for a little bit and that's where they've been hitting. All right. And anywhere from right out to the rapids, mo okay. I, mostly deeper. Okay, all so. right, I'll try it. Okay. Like that? Woo, domes. Good call, Steve. Oh, wow. Good fish. Oh, nice, nice, nice. Whoa, it's not ready, but it's not a monstrous fish. Nice, all right, yeah. Good call, Steve. Healthy yeah, fish. it is. Yeah, there it's a nice fish. Okay, that was great. You know, Steve lent me his rod like he always does and had the right flies and I did exactly what he said and it paid off. That was a good fish. Perfect. Awesome. Want to get another one? <laughs> As evening approached, the cotton was falling from the trees. We spotted this great blue heron, and the caddis were starting to hatch. Mm, fish. A oh, fish. Oh, yeah. Gosh. Woo, I tell you what. It's spunky. That's a not bad fish. Yeah. And this guy has no quit. No quit. I don't know if Steve can hand me that net or not. The big one. Whoa. Good heavens. Good heavens. Oh my. What a fight. It's a decent fish. This guy. He's gonna be going out of here fast. <laughs> there he goes. Nice. Oh man, I thought we might have been done for the day, but uh, the indicator went down and another good fish. Another good fish. It's been a heck of a day. It has. Wow. It's a good way to end it. Yeah, well, should we should get out of here. I think we should. Well, ladies and gentlemen, I hope you enjoyed the show from the beautiful Bighorn River in Montana. I know we had a great time, so please join us next week. Be sure to join us next time for more Fishing with Latin because we're having fun catching fish. <laughs>